Hello, my name is Verna, and I'm the other half of Simply Reformed. I am Doug's wife, and we've been married for almost 20 years. It's been wonderful. But he just asked if I would like to pop on every once in a while and share some things. So I said, sure. So I'd like to start out with something that's really, really dear to my heart, and that is theology. And not just theology, but theology and women. <laughs> In the church, for some reason, we've tended to separate them, and I'm not quite sure why. Um, we've tended to make women's ministries, women's Bible studies, not so much about Bible, but self-help with a little bit of Jesus sprinkled on top. We've forgotten that women are helpmates, that we are right there alongside our husbands, um, serving the Lord in whatever capacity he has given us. And there is nothing we need more for that daily um, work than theology. We're helping our husbands. We are raising the next generation and we need theology. But for some reason, we've gone to self-help. And so as a group, you'll hear lots of people complain, we don't understand why women don't make biblical decisions. We don't understand this or we don't understand that. I, I understand it. We haven't given the women in our churches theology. I'll give you an example. If you go to a pastor's conference, I'm a pastor's wife, you go to a pastor's conference, you think, oh wow, you're going to get some great things to, to boost you up and help you in, in, in your work, right? No, the, the men, they get to go discuss these big, you know, deep topics and wrestle with different doctrines and scripture, and the women are scrapbooking or making soap or essential oils or whatever it is is the hip thing right then. Look, I have nothing against scrapbooking or essential oils, but they pale in extreme comparison to having that time with fellow women to wrestle in the Word of God. And so I'm thinking, feed the women. Our women are starving. So I teach a ladies' Bible study, uh, Sunday school, Sunday mornings. There's no fluff in my class. <laughs> Why? Because we don't need fluff. We can get fluff from a Hallmark movie. We need theology. So we started out with J.I. Packer's Knowing God. It was great. It took us forever to get through it because we weren't rushing. We were really tearing it apart. And then we went into um, Everyone is a Theologian by Sproul. And we're almost done with that one. It's taken us a while too. But we love it. The ladies in my class are so excited. We can get so excited over these deep points of theology. Why? Because that's what's practical. That's what we need. Every woman in my class is in a different place in her walk with the Lord, in a different place in her time in life as we're going along this road, but they need real meat to face the challenges before them and also to feel the joy, the joy of their salvation. Where are they going to find that? In deep theology based deeply in the Word of God. So they come into my class and I say, we're going to the deep end of the pool today, and they all laugh, and we have a wonderful, wonderful time. So please, think about women in theology. If you are a pastor, are you feeding the women in your church? Um, not fluff. Cotton candy's not going to cut it. They need meat. If you are uh, a woman who's been, the, you know, looking for something to study, I just gave you two really great resources. Um, but don't turn to the fluff. You know, we don't need self-help with Jesus sprinkled on top. We need scripture. We need theology. We need to be able to face what we're facing in everyday life and not have to turn to someone to give me a good plaid to make me feel good, but deep theology that brings true comfort and true growth in our walk with the Lord. So that's my little spiel for today. Um, I will be popping on every once in a while just because it's fun. Um, I like to share. And I hope that you are having an absolutely wonderful day and that this has been a blessing. Bye-bye.